Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info in our 5G speed test battle between the Galaxy S22 Ultra, the Pixel 6 Pro, and the S21 Ultra. Now when talking about 5G speeds, most people think about their network carrier and the coverage and speeds they provide. But your carrier is only part of the equation when it comes to data speeds. Data speeds can only be as good as your device's hardware allows it to be, and all three of the phones in today's tests are running different chipsets with different modems. The S22 Ultra sold here in the US uses Qualcomm's latest X65 modem with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. The S21 Ultra uses Qualcomm's X60 modem with the Snapdragon 888 processor from last year, and the Pixel 6 Pro uses Samsung's Xenos 5123 modem with its custom Tensor processor also produced by Samsung. As I just mentioned, I am indeed located in the United States, and for this test, we will be using T-Mobile's 5G network. I actually did an entire video where I test T-Mobile's 5G and 4G network speeds, as well as explain the different types of 5G. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, you can click on the little moving picture box at the end of this video or on the link down in the description. And if these kind of videos are something you think you might want to watch more of in the future, you might want to consider subbing to the channel. That's not a bad idea. With the help of T-Mobile's coverage map, we will test all three devices at two different sub-6 5G locations and two different mid-band 5G locations around town. And we will be using various apps as well as Samsung service mode to ensure we are getting the type of signal T-Mobile says we are supposed to be getting. We will also be testing 4G speeds because, well, why not? We will not be testing millimeter wave 5G, however, because its tiny coverage footprint and inability to pass through objects like trees and walls make it largely, if not completely, irrelevant. All right, enough talk. Let's test. And just in case you were worried that I was sitting inside my car and that that would interfere with the reception on the phones and the results, I did uh, stick the phone outside uh, my sunroof here when I was actually doing the tests, so uh, no worries about that. All right, we have some results. So starting with sub 6 5G at location number one, we see definite, although not huge differences in 5G download speeds with the S22 being the fastest and the Pixel 6 Pro being the slowest, while upload speeds, however, were similar across the board. With 4G download speeds, the S22 was still the fastest, but the Pixel was right behind, with the S21 this time coming in last. Upload speeds are once again similar across all phones. At sub-6 location number 2, 5G download speeds were very similar between the S22 and Pixel, with both of them losing to the senior Galaxy S21. Once again, there isn't a huge difference in upload speeds, but there is a difference, and once again, the S21 wins here, followed by the Pixel with the S22 coming in last. With 4G download speeds, the S22 was fastest, followed by the Pixel, then the S21. 4G upload speeds were too close to call between the S22 and Pixel, both coming out on top, while the S21's upload speeds were around only half as fast. Moving on to the mid-band 5G locations, we see at location number one, both Galaxy phones had significantly faster download speeds than the Pixel. However, the Pixel had the fastest, although much slower, upload speeds. As for 4G download speeds, the S22 took the win here, although the 4G download speeds were certainly decent on both the Pixel and the S21. 4G upload speed saw the two galaxies come out on top with the Pixel coming in last. At mid-band location number two, both Samsung's download and upload speeds were dominant, with the S21 actually edging out the S22. The story, however, changes with 4G download speeds with the Pixel having a much better second place showing and the S22 coming out on top. 4G upload speeds actually showed the Pixel taking the win here with the S21 having the most pitiful result of the whole test at speeds of just over two and a half megabits per second. So at the end of the day, what have we learned? I think we have learned that while a phone with a different modem and chipset doesn't always result in hugely different speeds, it more often than not does make a difference. Both galaxies had significantly faster mid-band 5G speeds than the Pixel. They also had more consistent mid-band upload speeds. The differences were not as great between the phones with sub-6 5G and 4G speeds. The latest chipset on the S22 usually fared the best, although not always, and often not by much. I do also think it's worth mentioning that while the Pixel did sometimes struggle to keep up with both of the Galaxy's 5G speeds, its 5G speeds were certainly not terrible. And the worst two results of the whole test came out of the S21 with its rather inconsistent 4G upload speeds. And while upload speeds usually don't get as much attention as download speeds, I do think they matter. If you have ever tried to share a picture or video with people when you were out of Wi-Fi range, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, that's all the information I have for today. Will data speeds play a factor in the purchase of your next phone? Or is the coverage and data speeds you're getting now where you live good enough 
that additional speed really doesn't matter? Let us know down in the comments. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.